Hey everybody, it's Deb. Happy Thursday. I hope everyone's having a good week so far. I was asked by one of my subscribers, hi Mary, uh, how I made this loaded envelope. So I'm going to try to do, uh, not so much a tutorial, but I am going to try to show you how I did it. I've never done uh, anything like this on a video before, so I hope it's okay. <laughs> Let me first uh, empty this one out so we can see what the actual envelope looks like. I followed a tutorial on YouTube by Shabby Chic Chick, Michelle Randolph. Uh, she has an excellent tutorial on how to make the envelope, and I'll link that below. But that is the, um, the tutorial I used. And the only difference, let me get all this stuff out of here. So the only difference between her envelope and mine is basically this opening here which kind of looks like a, to me it's a, like a shirt collar. So I will show you how I did that. Um, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. So the first thing, put that over there, is um, is cut the base out. I used cardstock, 110 pound white Walmart cardstock, nothing fancy. You're going to cut a sheet that's eight and a half by nine and a half. You're going to score at one half, one inch, seven, seven and a half, and eight. You're going to then turn it and score at one half inch. Again, if you can't see this, if it's too dark, uh, go to Michelle's channel and she has all these measurements and everything on her tutorial. Now, once you do that, you're going to see three tiny squares over here and two tiny squares over here. I put an X to show you that you're going to cut those squares out. So this is what you're going to end up with. It's going to be like that. I cut out those squares and I cut out these squares. Then I scored it. I folded it in towards the center and then folded it back on this side. Fold it in towards the center. Fold it back. Fold it back again. A lot of people call this a fan fold. Well, some people call it an accordion, but that is how it's going to fold. And you're going to fold the bottom up. So that is your front. The back, you're going to cut a sheet 7 inches by 9 inches. You're going to score at 1 half inch and six and a half inches. And you're going to fold in and fold in towards the center. So that will be your back. Your large pocket, which would be this one here. I don't know if I was in frame. <laughs> this is your large pocket. That's going to be seven inches by six and a half. You're going to score at a half inch, six and a half inch. Turn and score at one half inch. You're going to have two squares over here. What you're going to do with these corners is you're going to cut a miter. Let me show you what that will look like. So here's the pocket. You scored it, scored it, scored it at the bottom. And then 
you're going to cut that corner off. And when you cut it, you're going to cut close to the actual corner, but not on the corner itself. You're going to leave just a little smidge in there. And that's so that uh, these the miter will meet up with each other. So that is, I'm sorry, that is the large pocket. Your small pocket, which is the very bottom. You're going to cut a piece seven inch by four and a half. You're going to score it again at one half inch, six and a half inch. You're going to turn it, score one half inch. Just like the large pocket, you're going to miter these two bottom corners. Okay. You're going to take the front. And like I say, we have, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I keep knocking the camera. I hope I can remember what I'm doing here. <laughs> uh, we folded these in accordion style or fan, fan style. I'm going to open this side, the left side up, which has the two, the two scores. And on this here, I'm going to put some score tape. I use score tape uh, because it holds pretty good. I think it holds better than glue, but if you like glue, you can use glue. It's no problem there. So you're going to put the tape right near, but not on that. And never mind this, I already, to save time, I decorated that. But you're going to put it right next to, but not on, the score line. So I hope that makes sense. Again, anything that's questionable, go to Michelle's channel and look at that video. So we scored that. We're going to put a little piece of score tape here on the bottom and we're going to open this side up and put a little score tape here. That's going to hold this together. But first things first, um, I think I'm going to take, yeah, I'm going to take the back and I'm going to attach it over here. So again, we put our score tape here. I am going to take this side and I'm going to line it up and take that down. Again, it's not going to go directly on the score. You want to leave that score line free so it can fold. So I'm going to take the tape, the score tape, and take a little bit like that. I made an X to know which sides are going to line up, but that's what that X is. And as best I can, I'm going to line that up. And one thing I don't like about score tape is it's not too forgiving. And it's very hard to see here. So I think this is going to be okay. Okay. So hopefully that will fold. Now you have that. And you can see how this is starting to come together as the envelope. Okay, so now I am going to take, first thing I'm going to do, I'm sorry. Now this is where it's a little different than her tutorial because I'm going to put some designer paper on um, on my base before I do any more gluing or taping. Now remember, this is the front. 
So it's going to look like this, my front. And you can use this as a guide. Here's my front. I have my large pocket. It's going to go here. I'll get my arm out of the way in just a second. I have my small pocket, which is going to go there. You see, there is a background paper here that you will see parts of when you do the cut. So I laid this down already. This, I believe, I did five and three quarter inch. And you don't have to go all the way down because um, no one's going to see down here because of the pockets. So just make sure you go down far enough. And what I do is I just put this on so I can see that I'm far enough down so you won't see any white base once I put uh, the large pocket on. I hope that makes sense. Um, if not, <laughs> this piece measures five and three quarter by uh, by five inches. Okay. So now, When I cut this here and I fold it back, you're going to see this inside as is, as is shown here. You're going to see this inside of the back. So I need to put some kind of paper. Well, I don't need to, but it's nice to put some type of paper back there. So I have some scrap paper. I'm going to put this on the back and I'm going to put this on the front. And this measures five and three quarter by four and a quarter. Again, it's just, um, it's a scrap. I just have to make sure it goes down far enough so I'm not going to show any white. So I'm going to glue that down. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for this. And I'm at the end of my Fabri-Tac. <laughs> I did put some rubbing alcohol in and mixed it up because it was getting really thick. earlier by mistake, so I'm just going to lift that up. Got ahead of myself. put down the front, I want to make sure that it's very well glued in the middle because when I cut down here, I hope it's not confused, when I cut down and I fold these back, you're going to see this paper, if I don't glue it down very well, it's going to be lifting up over here and I don't want that to happen because I want to curl this and have everything laying down flat. So, I hope everyone is okay that's, uh, that's had severe weather this past week. It's just been horrible. 
watching everything on the news and all the tornadoes. So I hope everyone has survived the wrath of Mother Nature. Okay. And like I say, I really used, I was very uh, generous with the glue in the middle. I have a bone folder somewhere here. This is, uh, this paper is from a paper pad I got from uh, Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I did manage to use almost the whole pad, which is unbelievable for me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to, I hope that dries quickly. All right, so next, whoops, again, I'm sorry. I want to attach this side. Uh, is that what I want to do first? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift these little pieces of score tape down here and I'm going to push the bottom up. Next thing I'm going to do is I put some score tape over here on um, on this side, and I'm going to go all the way up with the score tape next to, but not on the score line again. I had already put the square tape down here. Okay. It's hard to do this from memory <laughs> when your memory isn't too good, right? <laughs> All right, I am going to put score tape across the bottom here. So when I, okay, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold it over, I'm going to line it up on the bottom, and I'm going to line it up on the sides where that score tape is. do is I will do this a little bit at a time. I'm just going to turn that over and take a little bit of this up. Well, actually, take that up. still have this piece. Okay. So I am going to line the bottom up.
So now we have this. This piece is going to fold in to this, to the crease in here. But what I like to do, because it is rather, it's a little bit uh, bulky, so what I'm going to do is take my paper trimmer and just trim this off a little bit. And I'm just going to trim off just a hair. And what hopefully happens is this will fold in. miter this as well. And put a little piece of, actually I'm going to use glue on this part. Of course I just got glue all over my fingers. Start from the middle and push that in. Tuck that in. Take my bone folder. This is your pocket so far. I'm going to glue, I already have a score tape on my large pocket. And this will go down. You'll match up the bottom. This designer piece of paper is five and three quarter inch by five and three quarter inch. This was a scrap piece I had. You do not have to go all the way down five and three quarter inch because again, the bottom pocket will cover some of that up. So, let me see. Sometimes I think the hardest part of doing this is lining up the score tape parts because once it goes down, it's very hard to lift it up. Of course, 
Wouldn't you know I lost my score tape? <laughs> the end I had sticking out. This wasn't part of the plan. And no, if it's not perfect, it's okay, because it's handmade, right? That's the excuse I use. Not gonna be perfect, it's handmade. <laughs> All right, and so now you have the, the middle pocket and the bottom pocket. Sorry if I'm getting my head in the picture. Okay. And the bottom pocket. All right. Hopefully this part up here has now had time to dry. This is where we're going to make the cut for the shirt, <laughs> the shirt opening, <laughs> the envelope opening. So what I do, or at least I think this is what I did, it's been a while since I've done this. So I measure, it's about six inches, it's, I measure, I find the, the middle, the center. I'm just going to use three inches. Make a mark. I'm going to make a light mark all the way down. So I know where to cut. And I don't think anyone's going to see this mark. but you can always erase it afterwards. Okay. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to make the slit. And be careful, don't go through the back, just through the top. That's about as far as I'm going to go down. Actually, I'm going to go down just a hair more. And this one I went down quite a bit, as you can see. Whoops, sorry. As you can see. Let's see how this works. Okay, the other thing you're going to need is some kind of a round object so that you can roll this uh, open. I have this, I guess it's a plexiglass cylinder. Um, anything round, if you have a, one of those little miniature rolling pins, that might work. But uh, this is what you're going to do. You're going to put it at an angle and you're going to roll it. And basically I had to play with it to see what kind of angle I wanted to have. This is where you just have to work it. And you can see where it's starting to take form. Some of my paper is buckling. That's okay. 
I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to roll it. Now because the paper is so thick between the glue and the cardstock, what I have done before is I have sprayed it. I wet the paper down just a little bit. Um, I don't want to saturate it. I just want to get it a little bit wet. loosens up the fibers quite a bit. What I've also done is I have held this like this and I've used my heat gun and I dried the paper as it was like that which helped a lot. And you can already, already see how that's laying down a little bit better just by spraying it. I'll do this side. And I'm sure there's, um, I'm sure there are tutorials out there that show maybe a better way of doing this. This is just how I do it. And just find what, whatever is best for you. do in a little while is I'll take the heat gun to this and or hair dryer and I will set that so that lays down a little bit better and that's all there is to it all I have to do now is put my backing on which is the backing. What did I do? Oh, here it is. I have that piece for the backing, which is five and three quarter inch by eight and seven eighths, I believe. Looks eight and seven eighths. No, eight and three quarters. Five and three quarters by eight and three quarters for the back. 